Hi, I'm Pip Wilkins, CEO of the British Franchise Association, and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined by Chris from Best Magic Mirrors today. Welcome, Chris. Hello, thanks for having me. So, one of the things we wanted to do was talk to you because you've been on a real journey to come into franchising uh, and then to join the BFA. We obviously started conversations in lockdown um, and culminated in you joining uh, just a few weeks ago now. So, first of all, tell us a bit about Best Magic Mirrors and what you do. So, um, the Best Magic Mirrors is a premium photo booth service. So, what we do is we go to weddings, parties, proms, all over the UK, um, and we just provide the best experience ever. Um, so, that's essentially what we do. Yeah. Cool. So, you're going to be working with us on one of our events later in the year. I am. Um, albeit virtually now, because we can't do face-to-face -face just yet. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that, actually, because obviously, if we come virtually we can do that now where previously we couldn't do that so that's an exciting thing that we can offer now as well so yeah but if not yeah ideally we want to come and have a christmas party face to face so. absolutely now for you the journey to join the bfa and get involved in franchising hasn't been an easy one you had a couple of false starts <laughs> yeah but talk to me a bit about why you decided to join the bfa in the end and why being a standards based franchisor really fitted with your kind of values going forward so for me, the most important thing about the BFA is the support element, the trusted support element that comes from that. Um, the accreditation is great, right? So you work super hard for the accreditation, as you know I have, um, <laughs> and I've enjoyed it, and the process has been superb. But the reason you know, we kind of reached out to you guys is because of those full starts, you know, trying to, I guess, trying to get it cheaper, um, not really knowing who to approach, um, not understanding the process properly where you guys are actually affordable um, where at the beginning we thought we couldn't really afford it um, even though we are doing super well um, it was just one step too far but as we spoke and the journey continued the affordability was there so thanks for that um, so that was great but yeah generally the journey so far is great because now we have got people um, inquiring about buying a franchise that's great. So the best thing for me was in talking to you, understanding, I guess, the challenges of a new franchise or coming to the market. Um, and I'm really proud that we've been able to introduce new services from a BFA perspective um, and that more accessibility, like you said, the, the more affordable solution. Um, so you are, will always be um, officially our first ever band zero um, franchise or that's come in um, to the BFA. I love that. So thank you for that. <laughs> Absolutely pioneering. So. What's your kind of next big thing? What are you aiming to do now? Get your first franchisee on board? 100%. So the journey has just started again for us um, and it's great. I'm so excited. Now it is the time to find the lucky people that we are going to reach out and work with for many, many years. And the, the inquiries that are coming in, we are getting some really, really good prospects. Um, that's what they're called. See, I'm, I'm learning all the new words. Um, so those guys are great. Um, and that process of now that we're putting them through um, has come from your help as well, right? So we had our own idea about doing it, but doing it with your help and your support and your guidance just really, really helps us to, to feel more assured that we're doing it correct. Um, and that will then go on to their journey and know that, you know, these guys are being backed by an accredited company really so well, it gives people a element of comfort when you've gone yeah. through the process that you have as, as painful as it was at times yeah they will know that you are a good ethical franchisor and yeah. you've chosen to put yourself up against our standards of best practice which is not an easy accomplishment to do it is tough so one last thing i want you to do for me today straight down the camera okay your top tip for someone that's considering franchising their business what do they need to know? Uh, okay, thanks for that. 100% um, I would say talk to the right people. Um, make sure that they are from the BFA, just for that extra reassurance. And just reach out to the BFA. Um, they're really, really approachable because I wish I'd done that from day one, to be honest. So yeah, that's- At the end of the day, we're not scary people, are we? No, you know, we had the, the greatest conversation, I think, that I had in lockdown right at the beginning, and I'm really pleased. And I hope that the BFA will be part of your journey long into your future. You know, that's, that's our aim, is to be everyone's trusted partner in franchising. Yeah, I can't wait, so thank you. It was awesome talking to you today. Uh, thank you very much for your time. Thank um, you. And yeah, thanks everyone. See you guys. Bye. Bye.